Okay, we can do Slug Challenger. I want to play something that's a little stronger than the one we played last time because I, I got frustrated last time. You've, uh, you respect the Mantis stack last time? Okay, we'll try that another time. Let's give Slug a try. The Slug Challenger called the Autophobia. Autophobia. Font images of ships, humans, and backgrounds can be changed too, Beta Hunter, and text size. Well, you just saw how bad I am at even clicking the right folder, so I'm probably not going to mess with any of that. So, if you want to tell me exactly step by step what I should do to change stuff, you can, but I'm probably not going to experiment with it because I just don't have time. Um, so the Autophobia, this is the Slug Challenger ship. Let's see what the description is. The Slug Cruiser's life support system was borrowed from a vessel of a much smaller size. Uh-oh. Making it only capable of supporting a lone crew member. Oh, we have a forever alone ship. So that means this is like NGB and Slug A combined? Oh, man. Force Temporal Drive. So I Force Temporal and Drone Control, so I can't even get the good systems. Oh, wow. Okay. Single crew... Um, can he combat? He's a slightly weaker combat. Oh my god. This is gonna be tough. I mean, the ship looks cool. Looks cool, but single crew, man. Alright, anti-personnel bomb. Maybe we have to bomb our own ship to deal with borders. Good weapons, though. Alright, here we go. The one thing you're iffy about this loadout is that the AP bomb is just kind of there. Um... I don't know, I think it might be needed to deal with borders because we don't have an anti-personnel drone. So am I... yeah. <laughs> oh my god. A single slug crew. I mean, I guess we're immune to mind control, but... Let's check the comm for this one. Man of War class refit the autophobia. This highly unusual slug cruiser was found in bizarre circumstances. According to the records in its database, it suffered a catastrophic life, life support system failure that proved impossible to repair. One genius slug got the bright idea to try and replace the system with one from a slug interceptor. Unfortunately, that system was not at all up to the task of maintaining oxygen levels on a cruiser of this size. As a result, the autophobia is only capable of supporting a lone crew member, a critical flaw that needs drastic measures to overcome. Thankfully, it comes equipped with a passable substitute for living crew, interior drones. I don't know that that's passable, but okay. With a ship manager and repair drone on hand, they can grant manning bonuses to two other systems, as well as effect repairs without forcing the slug to abandon the helm. The temporal drive and drone reactor booster both help to augment the performance of these drones, too. Offensively, the ship is quite simple. It has a party trick in the form of an anti-personnel bomb. It can be used to destroy enemy crew, either those hit by the heavy laser, or even boarding parties. However, with all of its hard points occupied, the captain will be forced to drop one of its weapons if they want to add more firepower. Alternatively, they can elect to use hacking to increase offensive pressure, although with only one system slot to spare, the decision of what system to take is quite difficult. This is a really weak offensive ship. Three weapon slots and no ability to get hacking mind control teleporter. This is a very difficult ship. Um... And forced, oh, I, do, I don't like the forced uh, temporal drive. I feel like the things that it's actually good with, like teleporter and mind control, you don't have. So I guess we get these two things online to man systems. Manager on engines and you on weapons. I don't know if I can save their positions, but... Oh, it does give power. Does it give two power? It gives one power, okay. Send me three more ship images, choosing from your best that you didn't want to overdo, so choose only those you like the most. Okay, cool. I will uh, try to remember to add those after the stream RPG, or I might do it tomorrow morning. This is gonna be a tough one, man. You can already tell. We're gonna need crazy good weapons to get through boss shields how are we going to deal with borders? I feel like I have to get mind control on this ship. I think I might need mind control on offensive drones. I have no idea how you're supposed to win with this ship. Have you ever won with this, Slow Rider? I'm trying to figure out how you would win with this ship, and I am kind of drawing a blank right now. Oh, 
Goal, and this is either two managers and defense drone or three managers. Yeah, how do you kill uh, enemy ships with a three slot weapon system? That's what I'm. You won first try, and you took cloaking. What was your weapon system that you won first try? I feel like I don't know what weapons I should be using in your mod. Do you use missiles or bombs or something? I'm going to try to find a screenshot if it exists. Okay. So I feel like my normal weapon buys aren't going to work with a three-slot weapon system. I feel like it's got to be a Vulcan or something I got to do. Okay, this guy can't damage us. Is there a way... Crew kill him. How much does this do? 75 personnel damage. I got a fire in here. Pull both dudes in here. That's what I want. And then I can anti personnel bomb them both. Beautiful. Nice. Well, a free weapon is helpful. Uh, what does that weapon do? A rail driver is two power for two damage that pierces two shields. So use a missile counter evasion. Um, okay, I might use that. Replace the anti personnel bomb with that in a bit. I think the ability of the slug will be important in dealing with the borders. Yeah, they stun hostiles in the room. Yeah. Psy shock. So I can get the shield value. All right. Can you see what's coming? All right. Free stuff. Our sense is coming, I guess, is what it said. Five more scrap and we get our shields up. Ignore to trap. I mean, tarp. Sorry, I mispronounced tarp there. I never give in to <laughs> if I do this. <laughs> Who will it be? Uh, there's one guy. So that's insta-death. Let's not do that. Let's go ahead and not lose the run on jump three by giving away our one crew. Well, he dodged our entire pulse laser volley. That's great. That does no system damage. Now there's the value point coming in value. Yeah, I feel like my crew killing is going to be few and far between here. Because of how many missiles it would take. And he's got a, a rock dude putting out a fire, so. Uh, I can't get training on drones, right? They just have whatever have whatever they have. Manager's full training. This is just like having an untrained guy, I think. System manning ability level zero. So it's like having an untrained human on it. Okay. We'd rather have better dodges. Or faster firing. Um, gosh, so I lose five percent dodge and gain ten percent charge time. I think I will take the faster weapons, especially now that I have second shield. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You'd be pretty lonely piling an entire cruiser alone. I mean. If you thought Slug B, I mean, NGB was forever alone, this ship, this is a truly forever alone ship. 
Just because humans, they don't qualify as life forms. <laughs> Oops, I did not mean to speed that that time. Quest one, two, three, four. If only, if only the game agreed with you there. What was the lore reason for Slug One crew member? Um, life support. Let's find the risk. There's not enough life support, I think, was the lore reason. Oh god, there's an ASB. Uh, I did not realize. Keep that down. Dodges are too good. Uh, that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if O2 can be upgraded. I haven't actually checked that. Okay, that was probably not worth the reward we got. Can't find it, but you feel like it must have been your typical offensive build you try to go for. Six lasers and a halberd. Okay. Oh, six lasers and a halberd, huh? What two lasers? So, like, two versus laser two type things, huh? Wave cannon? What is this? Subspace wave cannon. Excavation demolition tool repurposed for combat. Launches waves of energy, inflicts system damage, but leaves the hole intact. Two power, three shots, only system damage. Interesting. 100% stun chance. Cannot break shield barriers. Okay, that's not useful at all, sadly. Pulse 1, burst 3, and halberd, probably. Wave gun can be given ablative to let it break shields in a hole. Interesting. Ablative. What would a bladed version of that look like? It'd be slower. It would still be two power, three shots. Hmm. Kind of thinking of just using the rail driver as like a shield piercing heavy laser, get rid of the anti personnel bomb. And that'd be a decent weapon upgrade. Does this use missiles? It doesn't, right? Don't think so. Turns it into a very weird flak one when you do that. Oh, does it have the bad accuracy of the flaks in your mod? How much do I upgrade my weapons? 35, okay. I'm gonna do this. A bit more active than Flak 1 if it's 80 pixel diameter. Okay. I think since I already have a weapon, it's just more efficient to do it this way. Do I wanna do I wanna sell any of these augments? Yes. I don't know what augments I'd actually want. I like the anti-drone, but I feel like this might be one of those runs where I might need to do something like one offensive, one defensive drone or something for help. We do have the drone recovery arm, I gotta keep that in mind. I have clone bay. Okay. What I just did. Giant alien spiders with one crew. And no ability to get more. Back. Although I think your mod makes giant alien spiders a little less punishing if I remember correctly. Store with 30 scrap. You have augments that I could that I could sell. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Wanna go through all three of these nebulas? I do. Sell something for backup battery potentially. I 
pays more if you succeed on the uh, giant alien spiders. Okay. Fight. Poking two lasers. All right, we should be safe here. I think pierces shields. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the power. This lets me do this. All right, now we're saving up for a store to buy, I guess, cloaking, backup battery sensors, all those type of things. Or a halberd beam. Six lasers and a halberd beam, if that's how you did it. Maybe I should start going for that build every time. It's so weird, man, being so low on crew and no, and so few choices for systems. So weird. You definitely uh, stay true to the name of challenge ships for all these uh, these uh, builds you do. Uh, let's see. So we're going to have 11. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, so it looks like I need to go around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think that works. I think that works. All right, attack the pirate. I don't really even know what to use temporal drive for. I guess maybe repair faster, slow down their repairs. Yeah, maybe I can use it here to repair faster or something. Oh, that's pretty fast. Uh, oh, they're not saved in their positions, Cam. I need to remember that that guy's giving me power. Weird, it took it from the first slot instead of the last slot. Is that how that always works? I'm not sure. I can't get all the jumps if I go to the store. So I've missed out on, wow, was that two stores next to each other? I think it was. That's probably all my stores. How badly do I want a store? Stores win runs, but in this mod, stores always have weapons, so I'm gonna skip this store. Mm -hmm. This guy cannot damage us as long as I have my shields up. Good doses for him, but not good enough. I will say you gave this ship a really pretty strong starting weapon system, though. Not too shabby. All right, there's the store. Very nice. All right. First laser three. Three power, four shots. Hmm. This one's two power, five shots, costs a missile. Cloaking that I can't quite afford. Twenty six. One forty one. Sell nine scrap short even if I sell both of those. What about your drones? Got a sentinel drone. Is there artillery for the ship? Oh, I didn't actually read it. So I don't know. I have to check it. 
I think we get this. So 90 scrap, 3 power, shoots down everything. I think this is the best defense drone in the game. Triple high yield firebombs are actually insane, but this ship needs a defense system hard. It looks stupid broken. It's really, really strong. Means I'm not getting any systems, but unless I want to sell stuff for power. Do I sell these guys? For battery to power. How much faster do they go? Move it to be faster by 50%. Overall performance by 20%. Mm. Yeah, the other problem is I need two more drone power and a bunch of actual power to use it with my... I mean, I could do this, but then my systems aren't manned. <laughs> so... Uh, managers need drone booster to not suck at repairing. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my augments for now then. I can't. I really just can't use Sentinel drone for a little bit longer. Um. Okay. Free stuff. What do I need? I need drone and power. Let's do drone control first because then I can turn off system repair and some other things to get Sentinel drone online. Especially because Sentinel drone's giving me power right now. Okay. Wow. As soon as I hit him, he turned his cloaking on. Okay, I guess that's normal. Annoying, but normal. Good. Yeah, okay. Uh, you asked this earlier, uh, RPG, but yeah, uh, life support literally can't be upgraded. That's crazy. Assuming it hits, doesn't just watch the enemy shoot you. I've had Sentinel, I think. It's been a while since I found a Sentinel drone. And I remember the last time I used it, it just felt stupidly brokenly strong. And I think it's been nerfed since then, because I think it used to be two power, maybe it was always three power. But I think it was also cheaper, it used to be. Um, let's look at what the artillery is so we can, let's see. Pyrotechnic, capable of putting targets in uncomfortable situations with ease. Three high powered fire bombs, ignite multiple fires, system damage, wounding crew members. Doesn't require explosives. Its advanced teleportation system allows it to ignore the effects of enemy evasion. Looks very strong, but yeah, the force systems on this kind of makes that less appealing. What's the most notable challenge of the ship? One crew. One crew. It is the forever alone ship on steroids. Oh god, that's gonna be a dive. No, no, it's not. Because of this nebula. Okay, good. Sentry hasn't been nerfed since I started using it, but it was nerfed from where it initially stood. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do this because I don't even want to deal with that. Okay, I just said it doesn't miss. Holy crap, game. What the actual F is that? Okay, let's get these guys in here. What the actual F was that? We're immune to damage, as long as I don't get my crew killed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It just immediately shot off in the middle of nowhere for no reason. What the hell was that? Come on, game. Come on. Help me out here. Okay. Um, I need to heal you by going in here. Is that correct? 
Yes, okay. That's basically your heal bait. You can win in vanilla with NGB with just one NG, so... Yeah, but the boss, the, um... The uh, flagship is tougher in this mod. So, I'm sure I know it's doable, because, you know... The writer's already said he's done it. It's just, it's just, it's gonna be tough. One, two, three, four. So that's what I was playing. Um, let me do one more power. Now I can turn off this from Parano 2 and have the symbol. Now we do this. For anyone who has modded in hyperspace, how does Iron Intruder work exactly? Does it have an ability that activates itself periodically, or is it something hard coded? Interesting. Maybe Slow Rider knows the answer to that question. That convoy music uh, soundtrack. Have you gotten any dodge training yet? Only a couple. That's a really good deal. I wish I... I kind of would feel like this ship deserves one more drone slot. But I'm taking that deal. Is that, can anti-personnel man systems? It can't. All right, so if I want guys manning systems, I need, honestly, I need another manager drone. I need to replace my system repair with a manager drone. That would actually be a really good pickup, I think. Uh, the intruder drone is something hard-coded, weird, and highly abusable if you enable manual control of it because its cooldown immediately resets if it attacks a blast door. Variable flak. Ah, man. This is the one that I get more shots the more I let it charge. I currently have one power, two shots, one power, one shot, two power, two shots. I feel like I need to replace the heavy laser with the variable flak, but it's expensive to get it online. Your run had three managers. You deliberately went out of your way to give the overclock prefix to all of them. No, okay. Sell this. 79. I'll have just enough to buy this. That would work pretty darn well if I get a halberd beam. In the meantime, I can use 3 power, 4 power. This plus pulse laser, I guess. have four power and one, two, three, four shots. This would be four power up to seven shots max. Okay, let's do it. Right. Pretty inaccurate, like all flax in this mod, I think. Variable. Um, so I can't, can I put a prefix on the variable flak? I can't remember if you allowed for prefixes on the variable flag. I feel like it can't get prefixes. Maybe I'm misremembering. It can get prefixes? I have two very inaccurate weapons, though. Yeah. That's not a bad deal. It's not good enough, though. How do you do that? Um, there's some upgrades, standard prefix, tactical. I can do a tactical variable flak, which is really good because I think, well, I can't see the actual stats on it, but I would, I, I think I want to do that. How strong is a temporal manipulator system or whatever it's called? Um, in my opinion, it's, only really good with 
boarding. Because you can do some crazy things with like boarding plus mind control because you can make it so you fight guys 2v1 for a... You can, you can outnumber your enemies more often with it. It's helpful for like repairing stuff faster, but I would usually rather have another system in slot. Um... Yeah, I can't do that. I would love a cheap Mantis, though. I was a 15-scrap Mantis, man. Mantis, man. Oh, geez, Ultimate RNG. Um, could I even deal with Zoltan Border Police? I feel like I couldn't. Marine will fight to the death of asphyxiation, yeah. Man, we've got two quests over here. Yeah, temporal is niche. It works in some. There are a few situations where it's okay. I never feel like it's just super strong. Okay, not the worst. Uh, it's black somehow stayed online though. Okay. I feel one drone part? No. Although one drone part is way more valuable than it used to be. Holy elite beam drone. Okay, well that's something worth selling. No silly device and no RPG Nerdos for this ship. Man, it's Whistler in a dream, man. Whistler and his drone friends. Okay, so what did I get? I just got an Elite Beam Drone 3. That should sell for a lot. 32, okay. When I said I need an offensive drone, that's definitely not what I had in mind. I should have probably had Sentinel online there. How can I do it? It's... Maybe one more power. I kind of want to get one dodge and one power, but this is NG sector, so I should probably try to save up to get cloaking. Okay, all right. Free consumer goods to sell. That beam drone looks so cool. Has little wings and everything, yeah. At least until if we find the end of the breach event, then we can run around with a traveler and hopefully the comically well-fitted one, huh? Okay, he's got a big giant missile, so we do the shield, so we do this. Hopefully take no damage. Uh, I got a mantis board. Can I speed up time? That O2 will go down faster here, and then... I wonder if that makes O2 go into the... run out there faster, maybe. There's a niche niche situation attempt to make that useful. Okay, so far the Sentinel drone is not impressing me with how much it's missing. Don't you miss the missile. Okay. I think it's missed both, both lasers it's tried to hit. But it okay, hit that one. Alright, alright. Don't be don't be a don't be a, a Steve, man. We need a Carl. We need Carl drones around here. You don't think it works that way with uh, running out of O2? Let's 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 test it. I've not messed with it. So if I do this, let's wait for uh, O2 to come back up. I don't know. It kind of looked like it worked. I'm gonna let it fill back up here. You need to use it on the airlock room for that to work. It doesn't last long enough to be that effective. Well, let's see. Let's go to like this room. See how long. So I need to I need to use it on this room, huh? Okay, let's see how. It's 
not bad, actually. That's actually not too bad. Okay. So if I use it on the airlock room, it vents faster. So useful for venting humans faster. You slow on an open airlock room, and that will slow down the draining, which has niche uses when trying to repair stuff. Well, there we go. There's 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 a, an aspect of the temporal manipulator that I've not used before. So quite interesting. That's a neat trick. Let's try dodging. That's a neat trick, or whatever Anakin says. Spinning. That's what he said. Spinning. That's a neat trick. That is a high yield missile. I'm hoping we're about to get some major value out of this Sentinel drone. Except he never gets to fire it, so it's fine. <laughs> does it slow the draining of O2 when used on a breach? I think it does. One of the entire entries in this ship computer lists everything affected by it, but you can never remember which one. It's in the tutorial or system section. It should otherwise. Uh, it should otherwise. That's a pretty dumb oversight on the coding. No, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, there's a store. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should work. Can't remember if said entry is hidden behind the developer commentary, which we sadly lost access to when our save file died. Yikes. Okay. He's running. Hoping this will work against at least one or two first laser two shots. This three crew and running away. This could be bad. Oh, <laughs> only the drone control and never the shields. Oh, come on. Nerfed stuff. Oh my god, he dodged the entire fucking volley. I think this guy's running. I don't think I can stop him. That's four shots, man. Go for piloting. Okay. okay. He's getting out. I just uh okay. Slow down. Maybe temporal. Maybe temporal can do it here. I hate this game. Well, at least I didn't lose a jump. <sighs> so annoying. Why were two guys repairing piling? You thought that only happens when there's a fire beach or border? I don't know. Maybe it's a hyperspace change. Damn it, man. God damn it. Oh, there goes that quest. Ah, uh, so frustrating. So I do have a store coming up. Or maybe it's something Slowrider changed. I swear the AI feels like they play better in Insurrection. Like they'll they'll two team they'll double team you and they'll keep borders in a room longer in this mod. I don't know. Maybe it's just I don't know. It just it just feels that way in this mod. Um, it's not many engines because it's not powered. I'll do the full variable flag thing here. 
like I need all the shots. Uh, it was when I the Sentinel drone's not on. I don't have enough system power and drone control. Maybe my maybe my head's blocking it. I don't know. I need one more drone control power to have both those up and the sentinel. It was, and then I did this, right? I don't know. I don't know what you're seeing in CMAS, but if I do that, it turns off and on. Pretty sure I turned that off. So it's doing, I don't know. Um, so store one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's running. <sighs> Shots. Right, I'm going to go for the full variable flak and hope it works. Pull the pilot. Good job. Please, 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 please. Okay. Three shots, pull the pilot, please. There it is. And we slow down repair on shields. The engines pull him back. Perfect. All right. All right, what do you get for that? That was all we got from... Oh, that wasn't a quest. That was just a regular fight. Okay. All right, let's see what's at the store. We're hoping for cloaking. It's not cloaking. I mean, maybe I do need mind control. I don't know. 27. That is not a good deal. Do I save it then? How many... That's my, that's my third augment slot. I'm just going to sell it. Right? Yeah, that's my third augment slot. Second Sentinel. Double Sentinel. How'd that be for defense? Probably not that good. Anti-shield joint is interesting, though. Hmm. Instantly war. Extra fuel required for the extra jumps. I don't love that. Do you have the cloaking? You do have the cloaking. Is that really what I want to go for? It'd be super defensive with Sentinel and cloaking. I feel like I need... Hmm. Self anti-shield drone. Hmm. I don't know. I'm really worried about my offense not being good enough. So maybe I do get hacking instead. Oh, I get sentinel and four shields. And hacking to hack his shields. I feel like... I feel like I want to get hacking instead of cloaking. With Sentinel as my defense, hacking to take down shields, I feel like that's going to be a better way to get consistent kills. I'm get all my systems too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I can back up battery the Sentinel drone with the other stuff. Okay. And you didn't have a uh, another manager drone, no. Okay. Uh, I don't need fuel right now. Maybe I'll regret not buying that later, but for now I'm fine. Ignore the tarp. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and hack your piloting. All right, let's make use of this. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, that was actually pretty useful. Two shots, right? Yeah. Okay, he's bombing his own dude. I guess that's cool. Manager can take that fight. Okay, we can auto. Uh, let's. I already waited, so let's do that. That. Oh, hey, at least I'm getting some use out of temporal manipulator this run. Elite Ion Burst 1. Probably don't use that. Why is the continue button so formal or roleplay like like battle stations or evasive maneuvers? The continue button. Well, the um if you're talking about the UI. Oops. Uh this UI is a into the breach inspired UI. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, what do we got here? I, uh, what is this? Two power, two shots. Okay, so this actually can self-stack. If I didn't have hacking, that might have been useful. I think since I'm planning on hacking shields, I probably won't. Not that much. Oh god, freaking force Zoltan, because I avoided the other Zoltan. Well, let's avoid the forced what was the one that killed us last time? Oh wait, it was uh location unknown, which is purple. I still like to avoid forced whatever the other one is that I don't like. Uh, abandoned. half power uh, okay is this one of those hmm is that the phasing one if that's the phasing one this could be really bad phasing. Okay, it didn't... Okay, the second shield being up protected us, so that's good. Ah, damn you. Those weapons are going offline. Oh man, he hit our ion, which took out our manager drone, which lost me a power and my weapon charge. That sucks. All right. All right, well, we did get that thing offline. Okay, wow, his power is going all over the place. All right. Ha! <laughs> Does he have a Zoltan running back and forth screwing up his power? God. Uh. Oh my god, I need to, like,. Move power into drone control, turn this guy, then move him over to get the shield, but that's gonna... I think the ion's about to go off. Oh. oh this beam's gonna hurt. That was slightly too early, but I'm really... Okay. Alright, we didn't let him get another beam shot off. Holy crap, that guy's power was ridiculous. Alright, 
All right, uh, how much power do I have? 5, 10, 12. Why does it feel like I'm so low on power? My weapons take only, they only take four. I don't know why it feels like I'm so low, but let's do that. That gives us one more power in the nebula. So you can kill the drones. I don't know why you shot twice, but okay. Um, i not use hacking here. Randy powers the shield to dodge the ion shot. Ion shot. I'm going to smack that shield at all costs. Yeah. Man, it's going to hit the weapons. Okay. For once, inaccurate black helping me out there. Four shots here. There. And this sentinel's doing work, man. If I, if I can win this run, it's going to be like sentinel carry, I swear. So stinking good, that drone. Um, okay. Uh, if I go one more power. Dodge and power. I can have the Sentinel drone online for every fight, and then I can back up battery my engines if I need to. Sentinel power is, uh, Sentinel takes three drone power. I'm, my face is blocking it, I'm sure, but there. It's, it's like defense two drone. Who lost 14% ignores clone bay? Well, I'm <laughs> not doing that. 14% chance to lose run entirely. Let's not do that. We've been boarded. Okay. Vent them. Have you go to doors? Man, I'm liking this uh, whole vent your enemies faster with that ability. I like it. All right. I don't know if we'll be able to deal that well with like five Mantis borders or Zoltan border police, but we'll be able to deal with a couple of borders. Okay. Um, three, ne new three more Nebula jumps does get me an extra jump. Do I want to live in this sector any longer? Does somebody always say Zoltan Nebula is Maybe the jumps are terrible. Uh, 12 fuel, I probably shouldn't. 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 10. Alright, please do not inter interfere. Um, if you interfere... I used to think saving the Mantis ship got you an extra reward, but you actually don't. So we're going to help the Zeldon ship. And I forgot that this was in an asteroid field. Okay, Sentinel drone, save us. Oh, that's bad. Okay, hopefully this will work. Before they... Okay, it was already prevented a little bit, thankfully. Oh, I did the wrong... I did the wrong room. I vented the wrong room like a dumbass. Fine, it's fine. Oh, that was too early. Beep-a-beep-a-boo, beep-a-boo, beep-a-boo. 
Alright, he's got no shield, so we're good. I think both rewards are the same. You get to fight a Mantis ship over a potential zone bomber. Yeah. Holy heavy combat drone mark too. Yeah. That's why I've started taking the help the Zeltons, because in general, I think Zeltan ships are scarier than Mantis ships. Of course, it depends on your anti-boarding. My anti-boarding is terrible, so Mantis is probably really scary anyway, but Yes, we do not. I agree. Zoltan bomber equal bad. Oh, there they are. The Zoltan border police. It's time, everybody. It's time. Double beams. His weapons are kind of crap. And he did board in a good place for us. Okay. I meant to move, I should have moved you earlier. Alright, at least the border part pretty easily dealt with. That's good. Good, that got through while we were charging this up. Um, I'm going to take a shot now. Should probably hack. Honestly, this Sentinel is just carrying us all the way. Okay. Stack your shields. I say it's carrying us as it kind of fails that one. Ha! Huh, both the pulse later shots missed. Uh, I swear you put more shields and weapons in tiny rooms in your mod. But oh, Rider, I'm sure you didn't, but it just... Oh, God. I cannot ever hit the important rooms. Okay, weapons down. We're good. We're good. Go for piloting, maybe. Oh, that's level three piloting. Okay. Got him. Nice. All right, we dealt with the popo. Okay. Uh, imagine if there was an augment that had ten percent chance to launch a shot whenever your shield is struck. Reflective shields. I don't think that'd be nearly as bad as Crystal Vengeance when your shields are hit. I mean, that'd be a hard counter to enemies with a fully spun up Vulcan. I think it'd be way better than Crystal Vengeance, honestly. I don't think it'd be good. Because you'd have to time it with your weapons, but it'd be better than Crystal Vengeance, I think. Um... I already have anti-drone. I don't want another system repair. What I'm looking for is either like a really good combat drone. That's four powers, far too expensive. A self-stacking ion. How do I... What do I think of that? I feel like I should just get the rail driver online, I think is what I need to do. Uh, one, two, three. Pike Beam Plus, it's elite. Oh yeah, I was looking at, um, increasing the speed of variable flak. How much does that cost? Um, oh, that's not what I want. Uh, tactical to this. So it's once 1.5 seconds faster for the full volley. I think, I think that's worth Yes, we're gonna get that as tactical. I'm not sure if that was worth the 25 scrap, but if I'm gonna be using it for the rest of the run, I think it's worth a while upgrade. 
get this next upgrade, I need 125 scraps. So... I'm gonna need power for that anyway. Let's go power weapon value. Let's do that to start. I feel like if it was guaranteed to do the shot, it might be worth. But if it was only a chance to do damage when your shields got hit, it wouldn't be good. You need you need guaranteed stuff, not chance for stuff to happen in FTL. But if we're guaranteed, I'd say it, it might actually be not terrible. Nice. Freaking hell, I keep forgetting to move him in time, though. If we were guaranteed to hit, that might actually be OP. Okay, we're safe from damage now. Alright. You don't have to be so negative, semi ice alright? Tone it down a bit, please. Okay, now I go back to positions. Uh, I want to slow down your repairs. Uh, okay. Oh, these freaking mantids. Get off my ship, bros. Do not want you here. I'm getting stingy with my drone parts again. Uh, am I winning that fight? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's uh, heal up. Um, so our next weapon power is 75. Do I want to get third shield? Kind of relying on the sentinel to keep us from taking too much damage, so... Okay. Albert Beam. Okay. Actually, Sentinel's not going to be any use here. What do we got? Bunch of skinny rooms. Why is every ship uh, skinny rooms on this run? I swear. Mm, that's bad. Okay, let's go here and speed up time. And of course it's perfectly timed. Why the frickin' hell wouldn't it be? At least we repaired it quickly. Uh, I keep trying to hit enter to have these drones go back, but they don't do that. It doesn't work that way. I almost think Rail Driver might be better than the Pulse Laser right now. And that's one extra power. At least it's accurate. And pierces two shields. Okay, the auto fire is definitely not good here. Okay. Okay. Do that. I think that's going to be better. Almost get all of them up, though. That will be helpful. I definitely need an offensive upgrade. Especially for the boss. Okay. Sentinel up here for sure. Uh... 
Okay, thank God that was not a different hack. That is a glaive beam, though. I think Astrid might actually be helping us here. Okay, let's let's hack the weapons. Did I just fire that? I think I did. Beautiful. Okay. Um, slow it down. Yeah, I don't even have to wait for the variable flak on these two shield chips. Nice, okay. Alright, as soon as we have a non-asteroid field or pulsar or solar flare jump, we can upgrade our pulse laser. And actually have a not feels terrible defense or offense, I mean. So yep. Yeah. Wow. Rail drivers gonna be super valuable here with all these ships with only two shields. Oh god, you just failed horribly, Sentinel. Okay, at least we dodge. Okay, we hit the piloting. I aim at the weapons, hit the piloting. Just flak things. They're getting away, shoot them. Come on, Sentinel drone. Uh, stop the bears. Slow down the bears at least. Oh, come on, man. Thank you, rail driver. Why is every ship in the galaxy skinny skinny rooms? Damn, there's my store right now. I wanted to get the weapon. I'm still getting the weapon upgrade. We just need it. All these freaking inaccurate weapons, man. I don't have a good way. Maybe that, yeah. We've been boarded. Okay. You go there. Now here's a question that I don't know the answer to. Anybody in chat know, when you have boarders hitting on a door, you move somebody into the doors, and the doors get upgraded... Does it actually slow them down getting through the doors, or does it... Is their door attacking still assuming these doors were the lower level when they started hitting? Does anybody know? I don't actually know the answer to that. Like, are they going to get through in the same time that it would have taken with the lower level doors, or not? Because that looks like they didn't have to get through the full upgraded, or the fully manned doors that I was... Uh, originally doing there. Should since the door HP is static from its level. It should what? Use the number that it started as when they started attacking or the upgraded version? Sentinel, please. Thank you. You always assumed it was like Simayet says. Is that how multiverse works for it? Probably hyperspace. Door HP is static from its level. I guess I don't quite understand what that means. Like right here, I wanna I'm gonna kinda test it. I'm gonna move out. They're gonna start banging on this door. Start banging on that door now, and then I move here. Is it the upgraded version they have to get through or not? They level two doors are 90 HP before the doors are being manned. Okay, sorry. I guess I'll wait for you to finish. After being manned, they become 90% of the new HP pool. Oh, so you think it's like scales. Okay, I could see that.
Yeah, a proportional improvement. Okay, okay. So it, it so it sounds like it's worth manning the doors even if they've already started hitting them. Because it'll still slow them down at least somewhat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I don't know if that's true, but that that would make sense. That would make sense to me. And I've it's been one of those weird random small things that I've never tested or known the exact answer to. I do need power, but we have a store, right? Yes. It's always worth many doors, even if they're almost broken through, since there's the next set of doors to break through. Yeah, I guess it depends on if they're going to be fighting in the next room or moving to another room. But if you're venting them, yeah, I, I agree. It's probably almost always correct to man the doors anyway. Okay, none of these drones do I care about. I'm looking for a good combat drone or another manager to replace a system repair drone. Are any of these weapons good? If I had a wep another weapon slot, I'd say yes. Looks like our stores have not been amazing here. All right, let me get one more power. That's so Sentinel can be on immediately. And then we go for third shield or a weapon upgrade next. Or maybe hacking upgrade, actually. How expensive hacking is. Hologram generator makes crew. Yeah, but they take up crew slots, so it wouldn't work on this ship. It's not like they make drones that don't take up crew slots. Hmm. Abandoned five of pirate stronghold. If we got the Dread Pirate Tuco, would he be better than the slug? Because I don't know if Dread Pirate Tuco is immune to mind control. Probably still better than going to abandon and getting boarded by Lanius borders that I can't vent, though, so. Tuco doesn't have mind control resistance yet. Okay. Still a good reward if we get that event. Um, what did I say I was going to do next? Third shield? I'll need power for that anyway. The shield of value. Yeah, I don't have to take Tuco, uh, of course, yeah. It's more just planning ahead if he would be worth replacing the slug, and it doesn't seem like he would be. We've been boarded all the time. Oh, oh, okay, this is actually not... Is actually not a real fight. Okay. It's fine. We have drone recovery arm. It's fine. Nice wreck that guy. One problem is I need to go heal after this. Get him over there now. Start healing. Uh, almost full. There we go. There. There. Close doors. That. And let's go. I've been contemplating getting him some kind of different passive set, but you don't know where to start. Probably shouldn't, since if there's any crew that you want on a ship with one crew slot, it would be a slug. Otherwise, you just lose your mind control. I think there are some special crew in this mod that do have mind control immunity that aren't slugs. I just can't remember. Like, does Traveler have mind control immunity? I feel like there's at least one or two special crew that... That is a bonus they have. I just don't remember 100%. 14 drone parts. I'm being kind of greedy with my drone parts, but I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, pretty good dodges. Now this thing I can auto fire. Man, look at the Sentinel go. Sentinel is badass. <laughs> so many dodges. Or so many shots hitting outside. Literally, why every ship have big fat rooms? Oh, that was the wrong. I didn't I did that backwards. Or have skinny rooms. Why you all got skinny rooms though?
never ship so skinny room, man. To just make black even worse in this mod than it already is. You're all Mafon or someone you don't fancy, you'll have to let them go, otherwise you'll be locking that traveler unless you swap them out. Oh, the, all the travelers do if you have the correct distress stress speak. Are there different travelers? I thought the traveler was one person, but it's like a bunch of the different into the breach characters, I guess. Sentinel's probably saved me 30 whole damage so far. It's been a lot. Thing is freaking awesome. Uh, whole laser two. two. Oh, that's two power three shots in this mod. Okay. Okay. Advanced laser drone. Three power. Harder to use overall. Is that just because it's got higher power requirements, I guess? You only have one traveler on a ship at any given time with the exception of the next gen cruisers A and B. What's up, Tim Tim? I don't know. I kind of, I kind of don't think I'm gonna have the slots, unless it's something like even better than that. That's like pretty good, but I think I'd rather two power, two shots, a laser two. Variable flak is three power, five shots. Who set up on those two ships has changed slightly since you did manage that his seventh final traveler. Okay. I want to replace the pulse laser with that, but if I do that now, I can't use it until I upgrade my weapons again. I really need to upgrade my shields. Wow. Distress, distress, store, store. Okay. Um... I could sell slug repair gel and get the whole laser. I'm going to do that because I'm not going to use it till I can upgrade it. I can upgrade from pulse laser to that. I think I just like rail driver better than pulse laser right now with the inaccuracy. Is that true? Here's the two shields. It's two power for two damage. Yeah, I think I, I agree with that. I think I agree with myself. feel like we're behind on scraps still though. Everything is so expensive in this mod. This marker scored okay. Dream is getting late. Quality stream night. Yeah. Well, this is our last run, but yeah, we're getting close to um this this we're getting close to the end of the stream. I don't know about quality, but I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go like this. Oh, wow. You got distracted by something. Thank goodness for Whistler's dojings. We is maxed. That's good. We is maxed. Who is maxed. Oh, I need that to be not on auto fire anymore. That can auto fire. Good job. Sentinel, man. Sentinel drone MVP. You're so good. You are you are the Carl of all Carl drones, man. I wish every defense drone I had was a Sentinel drone. I still want to get third shield, but I kind of greeting because Sentinel is saving me so much health. I kind of don't need the shield if I use Sentinel drone. Shoot down a boarding drone. Shoot down hacking. <laughs> I love you so much. Why don't you marry it? I would totally marry the Sentinel drone. Totally would marry it. You are beautiful, Sentinel drone. Auto fire, auto fire. More ran time is quality time. Nice, nice. Well, after the stream today, I'm going to finally, I've been just not having had time with rehearsals every night. I'm going to finally go find out about the workout place that's supposed to be, uh, I'm supposed to have access here at my new place. So, um, I'm going to have to back up battery that shield. I don't know if I'm actually going to use that. Maybe I should have saved for weapon first. But 
Oh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Go finally find the workout place and see if I can make use of that. Uh, let's go here, 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 and here. There it is. Man, this manager drone has been doing work too. <laughs> like, this manager drone, like, he mans at max level. Is he considered max level fighting? No, I think it's like 0.9 fighting, but still. Yeah, friggin' wrecked. Gives you power. He's like a Zoltan, a Rockman, a Mantis, a Lanius, all in one, man. It's Swallow Clock ran time. <laughs> sure. Swallow Clock. I'm not that swole because I haven't worked out for like three weeks, two and a half weeks or something. Although I'll tell you, when I was moving, that was a workout. If you want to get a forced workout, uh, move a bunch of couches and boxes and washers and dryers in a day and a half. That was one long day and a half of workout, that's for sure. Uh, so we're in Pirate Stronghold, so two Nebulas gets me seven. Four, five, six, seven, okay. okay two drones. Make that zero drones. <laughs> ah, that's so broken. I love it. I love how brokenly good that is. You just don't get to have offense, sir. Sentinel drone says nope. Sentinel drone says no shots for you, no drones for you. I think he's out of drones parts now. Oh no, his drone controls is dead. Alright, get blasted. If that was seven fuel, I would have taken it. You've been helping with moving a lot too lately. Your brother just moved. You gotta help a friend move this Friday. Helped him twice. Once with a sucky bed and a fridge that could barely fit on the stairs. No elevator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Then you know the pain of, uh... Like, trying to deadlift a freaking appliance upstairs. And I actually feel kind of bad because I made my dad help me because my brother and friend to live about two hours away weren't able to come up because of the ice so welcome aboard maria <laughs> sorry there's only enough room on this ship for one slug and you are not a slug yeah the hardest part was bringing for us was bringing up the couches Because it's so awkward getting them upstairs, over rails, through doors. You gotta like shimmy them sideways and like wedge them through. Pivot! Like the Friends episode. Pivot! Oh man. Pain. You have to help your parents move out of their apartment next month. You're not excited about it? Well, it's good of you to do it. But yeah, I, I can understand not being excited about it. Bulge beam and ion. Uh, yeah, we should just go ahead and turn on the sentinel always. Only got two shields though, so pulse uh, rail driver pierces. The fear of holding on to a heavy fridge and your hands getting sweaty so things start to slip. Yeah. What happens if I counter their speed up repair? It cancels it out. Nice. <laughs> no, no repairs for you. Or no fast repairs for you at least. Nothing compares when you had to craft your spaceship with these mortal bare human hands. Wow. What, what kind of spaceship was it? Because that sounds hard. Uh, they have lived in that place for 55 years. Oh my gosh. There's going to have so much crap you're going to have to sort through. 
I swear, I I try. I had only been at my place for like five years, and I'm like, I'm throwing out half of this place. I donated an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, and a PlayStation 3 to Goodwill because I had nothing else to do with it. Because I was like, I've, I haven't used these since I've lived here. It's like, I feel like I'm just Santa Claus giving away stuff. Uh, that's another three power, five shot weapon. But I already have a two power three shot weapon in here that I want to trade out my pulse laser for. So I think I'm not going to do that. Long range scanners. So 55 years of living in the same place. That's going to be a lot of junk. I'm sure you're clearing out. All right, so that'll be 60, 74. Do I need 90 for the next one? Yes, I do. We're almost there. I don't want to sell it right now. I need to buy fuel, so... Stairs are scary all of a sudden when you're doing that, yeah. Alright. Keep showing your quality, Sentinel Drone. Chance for Sentinel Drone of Sentinel Drone of Gondor to show its quality. Okay, your quality is not showing so hot right now, sir. That was a two damage missile you just left through. Come on, improve your quality, please. Uh, I need a nod. Over. You know what? Let's hack his weapons. It's late, but I'm doing it anyway. Too many missiles coming in at the same time, I guess. Okay. Okay. That is everything down. That's good. Solo flare is going to come in here. Okay, we're good. I think those were two missiles at the exact same time, or at least close enough that this guy couldn't recharge fast enough, so... I'll cut you some slack there. You were no Carl, but I won't call you a full-on Steve. What are stats on the rail driver? It's two power, two damage. Uh, pierces two shields. And 40% breach chance. It's a weird combination of things. I've always found it just a strange weapon, but it's not terrible. I'd say it's like on par with like a whole laser one, maybe. Don't remind you, the cellar is a dump and you think we still have a storage room under the roof? Yikes. Never surrender our full slavers. slavers. Counter evasion and shield pierce by far the strongest stats. I don't. Oh yeah, twenty percent counter evasion. That is that is good. I forgot that I had that on there though. But yes, you're right. Which probably makes it better than the pulse laser, which is why I'm keeping it over the pulse laser. Or that's my excuse for saying why I'm keeping it. I just don't like the inaccuracy of. Pulse laser. The variable flak is. I mean, it's fine for the number of shots, but all flaks in this mod have been nerfed in their accuracy or the radius of their shot. Yeah. Yes, please give me this crew that I cannot keep. Like a much more viable heavy pierce. Yeah, that's a good comparison for sure. Much. An upgraded. Heavy Pierce. Like a Heavy Pierce 2, maybe. Right, let's go ahead and do this. Power's going to be an issue, but I just don't want this Pulse Laser anymore. There we go. Now we go 3, 2, 1. That's... This is basically a Burst Laser 2 that's slightly slower. What's the charge time on that? 15, yeah. Slightly slower Burst Laser 2, but it lines up well with full charge of variable flak. Um, sure, have some missiles. 
Beacon access kit. That's the one that at the beginning of a sector, I can map the sector, I see. Well, right at the end of the sector, that's a perfect time to get it. Although three sectors ago would have been nice, but. Rock Homeworld's Force. Well, at least it's not forced abandoned. All right, we got a full sector map. Very nice. So, two stores. Clone paper protects us from Rock Live Mine. Is there any level two clone bay or level two anything else for blue options in Rock Sector? I'm not sure about in this mod. I should probably be lining it for a store to get some fuel. Asteroid field. Eh, I don't know, we'll just take some ship fights. Rock home in before shenanigans and no travel event. Damn it. Uh, is the traveler event the distress beacon? Because there's one distress beacon I missed. Oh, rock home world's quest again. Okay, sure. Strong enough to destroy you. That's a Zeus missile that guy's got. Alright, quest is up there. So, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... I think I skip the bottom part of the sector and go down this way, actually. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up this way. Distress, no ship, and there's no ship like that on the map. Oh, you mean, oh, I could get it in this sector? I was actually talking about the last sector, but okay. Uh, that's a black five or something. Um... Gonna hack his weapons here. I'll just buy me time. It's black. Just have cloaking though. Let's do the entire volley. Go everything at weapons. Just get that black offline. Perfect. I've right, gotta wait for his cloaking now. Is the UI a separate mod? Uh yes, Rogue Luke it is. There is a standalone mod called Insurrection SMPK Oh, what is it called? Into the Breach Insurrection UI or something like that. Pop, pop, pop. Autophobia is the fear of being alone, meaning you'll much rather prefer much rather prefer being around people rather than forever alone. Uh, fear of being alone, huh? So, well then, this guy's terrified this entire run, so feel bad for him. Poor guy. Uh, this is a sun, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get one more power. Beep, 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 beep. Should have been an NG since NGs feel no fear. <laughs> That's right. Uh, oof. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hack your weapons too. I just don't like all those burst laser twos and flax you have. But I only have one of each. I know. And that, that one is scary. My time for our first volley. Sentinel, you are just, you are amazing. Sentinel, I'm going to get you a trophy for this run. Of course, I'm going to say that right up until the boss fight where he fails on a bunch of shots and gets us killed, but you know. You would never get us killed, would you, Sentinel Drone? Never. Might as well shoot that at empty rooms. Whole laser. One would have been dead long ago if it was an NG, and NGs get wires when they're in fear. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we have eight? No, oh, wait, that's the store I'm looking at. No, we don't have eight. Okay.
I don't know if the run would have been dead if we didn't, if we had an NG. We haven't fought any dudes with mind control, so it's not like we've had a ton of value from this guy being a slug. This run might have been dead long ago if we didn't have a Sentinel drone, though. Could have. That is a bomb incoming. Okay, good dodge. Make sure my weapons don't go offline. One thing you can't do when you know pause not lose weapon power or training or charging while swapping your power around. Actually, no, you stay there, you go deal with the fire repair truck. I'll slow down this, although that's not going to last very long because my power is about to run out. Oh, that's... Ouch. Are these guys resisting, like, everything? Because I feel like I should have done a lot more damage to these guys. Okay, there we go. My repair drone actually did pretty good work there. Putting out those fires quickly. What's going to be the name of your kid? I'll share with the Sentinel then. <laughs> uh, Carl Jr. Because Sentinel is a Carl. Carl Jr. Is it Carl Jr. A restaurant? He's going to get made of by all the kids. About being a burger kid. But you know what? That's how good Carl is. Uh, he is running. Okay. Uh, so this can bypass shields. Low gain. AI Carl. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of piercing shots there. Um. You receive a panic stunning hail, but your translator's still struggling to make out what they're saying. Are they still trying to are they trying, trying to call the ceasefire? I have no idea what this event is. Um I assume they're gonna give us a crystal crew that I can't take. So I'm just gonna finish him off. I don't know if that's what it would be, but I'm gonna just assume that. Maybe it could have maybe it'd been like a free weapon like the uh, crystal vanilla quest, but not even take a chance. Just get the stuff. An event you added to Rock Home to give you a last Hail Mary shot at opening the wormhole. Ah. So it's I'm so it's probably a crystal crew then, right? Instincts tell you they give a crew member a weapon that's not good, yeah. Uh, any crystal weapon would be pretty not worth, so besides. We already know that. Actually, Rock Home Worlds, we don't even know where the quest would be, do we? I wonder if we had gotten a crystal, if it would appear at one of these empty jumps. I don't actually know what the Rock Home Worlds quest beacon is when you can't see whether it says quest or not, if it's empty jump or ship fight or what. Holy shnikes, a rebel elite drone ship. Four shield. Ooh. That is an overclocked Vulcan and a Gatling laser. Uh, with drone control. Oh man, I don't think I can take this fight. They don't have teleporter. Probably have offensive drones. Our Sentinel will kill the drones, but those weapons are terrifying. If I hack his piloting, how many shots do I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine shots. My health's pretty good, and I have a store right after this, so I'm going for it. This guy's killing the drones. 
We're hacking his piloting. No, I'm hacking his engines, actually. We're going for it, man. And what am I... I'm going to fire my variable flak at shields, everything else at wep. No, I'm going to do this right here so it's guaranteed to hit something. Is that what I'm going to do? This could be terrifying. The Gatling is like seven shots all in a row that Sentinel can't deal with. Pop, 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 pop. You got no weapons, bro. What happened to your weapons? Slow down the repair. Now you got no shields. Now you got no chance. Now you got no life. I should really stop, you know, antagonizing this guy and taunting him by saying how bad he is. Empty room. Pop, pop, pop. Easy fight. Easy game. Storage key beta. Oh, okay. I forgot that that was a storage key event. Why does the Vulcan spin as is it is still charging? Uh, that's a that's a graphical update to this mod to make it look cooler, showing that it's still spinning up. That was a crazy scout ship. Yeah, no kidding. All right, what do we got? Electron beam is badass. Do I want it over anything else that I have? Ion beams are crazy. It's not crazy OP as it would be in vanilla when those are added, but. Weapon charge booster I do want. Does this work in the final sector? I don't know. That events text was from before you added Captain Edition's larger rebel craft. Automatically with no failure chance. Okay. Um... We definitely want this. Redundant systems. This is uh, titanium system casing. That's better. And they repair faster. Okay. All right. Um, is it worth swapping anything out for their electron beam? And this thing is really good. I'm planning on hacking level 3 their shields, or am I hacking level 1 their piloting? Mod soundtrack sounds pretty similar to Subnautica Below Zero soundtrack. Well, there's a bunch of bonus Ben Prunchy soundtracks in this thing, so I agree with you, and it makes sense with Ben Prunchy being you know, the composer for both. I feel like I don't change my weapon setup. Because I feel feel like I'm going to need level 4 shields. And I feel like I'm not going to have enough power for all the things I'm going to want. Electron is shaky. It might work, but it might be too expensive. I, I feel like I need to spend my the rest of my scrap on getting power and system upgrades. And I think it's just too expensive to make that happen. Like I'm not, I, don't, I don't even think I'm going for level 2 hacking because of the 70, 70 scrap cost. I think I just need to get power and engines, and then shields if I can make it happen. Ben Prunty is truly talented. Man, he is an amazing composer. Okay. There's another convoy track. I think this might be another convoy track. Am I regretting not getting cloaking? I should have I only got two shields. Should have fired the rail driver earlier. Wow, zero dodges and my sentinel was a piece of crap. Thanks, Sentinel. Thanks. Let's have you repair. 
that. And he can dodge with nobody on piloting. How fair and balanced. Uh, let me slow down his repair here. Okay, we stopped his shots mid, mid volley. That's good. Ah, oh, I did not even notice he was repairing that cloaking there. Okay, that was misplay. Okay, got him. What is that weird sound effect? Yeah, this this is some of the bonus tracks that's not my favorite. I don't know if it's Convoy or if it's one of the other, like... I uh, like the, the soundtracks that people have written in FTL style that just have kind of weird vibe going on. This is the, this is the Homeworlds quest, and... Oh, wait, I still have one more sector. Oh, thank God. I thought it was in Sector 7. Okay. All right, all right. We can still... We still have an, enough of a run to maybe get enough scrap for this run. Not be a disaster. Oh, Jesus. Uh, black actually doing its job there. Damn. All right. Uh, let me hack their weapons. I just need them to leave. Don't do damage to me. God, it's so slow. The freaking black. Just timed that all freaking wrong, man. Okay, if you could just go ahead and leave and stop doing damage to me, that would be great. Oh, good, he's leaving. Yeah, so I wanted to see. Please leave, please leave. Thank you. All right. Please tell me you're not going to actually do damage fire. Thank you. You went away for an hour meeting. Come back. We're still on the ship. That bad. Oh, it's not bad. It's just... This is a challenge ship. So, all the, um... All the challenge ships in this mod are very... Challenging would be the correct word, probably. Okay, I can't, I can't get two more. We do get a free repair from that, that we now know is 29 repair. Ignore, it's a tarp. Oh, Rebel Stronghold. Yeah. Uh, I, I sold Beacon Access Kit thinking I was in Sector 7, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's going to be hard to find the Rebel Stronghold. Okay. Man, we are going late today, though. Is General Drone healing up? Healing speed up in this mod, or are they healing a drone? Uh, the augment we have increases healing speed. Health recovery by 50%. So that's this mod, this uh, augment. But the runs in this uh, mod are always longer, because like everybody's got freaking cloaking, everybody's got it's, again, I don't want to talk too much smack about this mod because I love it, but there's a lot of things in it that are becoming closer and closer to multiverse that are getting more and more frustrating to get successful runs. Just 
Speaking of, I'm just going to hack his cloaking so that I can turn it off when he hack cloaks. Jesus Christ, unless unless hacking is so nerfed that it doesn't get there in time. God damn it. No, I need more than one fuel. Uh, two fuels better. Uh, okay, store one, two, three, four, five. I do need two nebula jumps to get extra jumps. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. So this is the guy. This is the missile using um, Vulcan. Got counter evasion, pierces two shields. Is that correct? Am I right about that? Or am I thinking of a different weapon? 14 second charge time, use the missile, three damage. Okay, no, I'm thinking of a different weapon. So that is not the weapon I was thinking it was. Okay. Um, this guy is basically another burst laser too. 15 second charging, two power, three shot volley. Um, do I want that over the rail driver? Basically a more powerful rail driver with a 25% chance to use ammo. Really? Two power, three damage. It does counter evasion 15 compared to counter evasion 20. So 5%. Less counter evasion. That's one extra pow, uh, one extra damage. I feel like that is a straight upgrade, and I have plenty of missiles. But again, I need defense, so I don't know if one extra damage is it worth. Um. Because I still need to get fourth shield, a lot of power, and value points. What's the charge time comparison? 14 compared to... it's the same. Do they have a manager? No. System repair, anti-shield. No, we haven't seen any manager drones. Uh, how many jumps do we have this sector? At least 10, maybe 11. I'm going to bank on us getting one more fuel. I don't think I make the change. And do I even get a repair? We have a we have this full repair coming up, so we don't get a repair. Do you have a manager? You sound like a Karen drone. <laughs> well played, well played. Right, we're saving our scrap. I'm just, I'm just going to save up for 5th. Fifth dodge, fourth shield. Now this guy, man, everybody's still in love with this. How about a hardened Goss cannon? Reach chance. Says are two plus. Says are four is four power for seven shots in 19 seconds. So many different weapon types here. I feel like I'm just going to make the same choice I just made. It's all too expensive. I just need defense, not weapon upgrades right now. Okay. The repair and cloak and dagger instead of the rock hole plating, huh? Two power, three damage, 50% counter ev evasion. Wow. And it's cloaked. Oh, man. That might be worth using. That basically is a better rail driver, right? One second faster, pierces all shields, can't be shot down by a missile. I mean, by a defense drone. And they have a very low chance of dodging it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a straight upgrade. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't usually go for missiles, but that's freaking good.
Uh, manual search. <laughs> well, that's only the second free crew we've had to vent today, so. I have enough missiles? Oh, easily, yeah, easily. That's the other reason I'm gonna use it, because the missile numbers we have are great. Okay. Hack your weapons is what I'm gonna do here, I think. Maybe I should have hacked your piloting, but. That hits, okay. Slow down that. Nice, that's breached so he never gets to cloak. Should hit shields with that, oh well. Can't do anything until the missile fires. Yeah. Yep, we saved all our missiles for this moment. Okay, um, power and fourth shield, that's what we're saving. Okay, he's running. Um, I should hack your engines to keep you from running. These weapons are <laughs> potentially scary. Thank you, RPG. Oh, the fire, though, the fire. Okay, is that pulled a pilot yet? Pilot's still not pulled. Okay. All right, slow down your repairing. Uh, I need to hit one more system that'll pull the pilot. Okay, pilot's never leaving, okay. Ah, oh, Jesus, game. There, frickin' finally, okay. Come here. Oh my god, this, uh, this Hermes, this Cloak and Dagger is now carrying a Sentinel plus Cloak and Dagger. Carry me to victory. Okay, all right. Um, even if I wanted to get level higher level hacking, I feel like I just would not have the power to use it with shields and everything else we want to get online. No, I'm not giving you away my one crew that ends the run. Thanks for asking, though. All right, do I try to save a drone part? Yeah, this guy's got so many crew, he has two in the piloting. Crazy. I have so many crew, I don't know what to do with them. We'll just hang out in the piloting, I guess. Oh god, he's instant repairing that, though. Ah, oh, that's not a good deal. Empty room. Pop, pop. There we go. He has a pilot and a co-pilot. <laughs> okay. Two. Okay, that'll let us see all these jumps. All right, let me get some value points here. Before going all into the fourth shield. I don't need the power for it. Basically, they're asking if you'll agree to lose your run for a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Quest marker. Wow, it actually gave me a quest marker I can do. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, store. Will I have anything to sell at the store? I had the rail driver to sell. Okay, so yeah. Take him home. And they got <laughs> they all repaired its compensation. Damn it! So my choice of rewards there was crew I can't use or hole repair that I don't need. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. Hey, you got a kick to the crotch that I don't want? I'll take one of those. Um, okay. Matt, no shields for you. They polish your hole. Now it has 0 0.0001 chance to, what is that, resist hole damage? Yeah, I wish. That would actually be useful, but they didn't give me useful things. One, two, man, that, if that was a little bit more to the right, I could take it and dive. Beep, 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 beep. First laser three is three for four. Uh, yeah, all the stores, not a single uh, manager drone, sad. What advanced FTL navigation for something? good, but I think I probably need to keep all the stuff that I have. Alright, let's go see if we can win this run. Get fourth shield, hopefully, before the boss. I will sell six. Probably could have sold max, as long as we got one repair station, but I eh, don't want to lose the run because I run out of drone parts. Speaking of Zeus missile... Yeah, still no manager drone. All right, so storage key beta means we need to get to the base before the boss. Hey, one, two, three repairs, man. Okay, sure, I'll take all the free scrap. Well, watch it take over the other ones, though. Okay, didn't, that's good. Let's go bam, bam. Now we need the power for it. I almost wonder if I'll want... Either of my drones on shields for, uh... On shields for... Shield recharging phase two when they have drones. Probably with Sentinel drone, I don't need to do that. One, two, three. One, two... Am I gonna get there the same time as him? I might get just the same time as him, which is not... Hoping. I think we can still get it if we leave and come back, though. Get the, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> Are you afraid of my Hermes missile? I would be. You should be very afraid. I mean, I have 52 missiles. What am I saving them for? <laughs> Next run. 43 scrap. Not terrible. Yeah, he's going to get there the same time as me. Damn, I should have gotten one less repair station. All right, it's fine. Uh, I want backup battery upgrade because that'll let me... Oh, uh, I actually don't need that extra power. I guess if I can get some other system up, I can throw the power into it. For some reason, I thought I had another system that needed power. Uh, let's hack your piloting. Next run, I'm playing the timeline where the descendants have inherited my missile numbers. Twist, they're all your enemies. <laughs> okay. Subscribe I mean, that's an Into the Breach thing, right? Yeah. Thanks for subscribing Take your time traveler with you. This could be painful. Oh. Okay, all right, Sentinel. Sentinel did work. Speed up that repair. Um, this. 
Hamlo, thank you for the 29 months, my friend. Appreciate that. Shiny slug. Shiny single lonely slug. Stuck by himself with some drones for the entire run. Trying to juke the DD1 proves to be a pain. The cloak and dagger will one-shot drone control on phase one and give you a free hack. Okay. You're talking about uh, getting past their defense drone with my hacking, huh? I'm going to do that and just say forget about value point and hacking. Is the idea here a forever loan ship that doesn't suck? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably one way to describe it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. What a fool. Once more into the breach. God, it takes forever. Okay, I'm just trying to time this so that, uh... It's there when I can see him. There it is. Okay. Alright, so I am hitting the shields. And he killed my hacking, so it's pointless anyway. F you, FDL. God damn it. Alright, well, hopefully that'll hit anyway. Okay. Let me slow down that repair. Oh, Jesus. Somehow there's a fire in here, too. Great. No backup battery for me, I guess. Uh, okay, he's got a breach in there. Okay. Uh, six health. Who kill? Who kill, please? Okay, all right. I think we get at least one crew kill there. God, he just died. Oh, God, the cloaking just... Oh, and he shot my sentinel down. Give me a break, game. I'll uh, just go to your dodges, I guess. I should I should be ridiculously tanky and it we are not. I feel like we've taken way more damage than we should have. Come on, finish him, please. God damn this defense drone. Uh stop the There it is. One crew kill is good. Is it? I have one crew and no mind control to deal with borders. I don't know that one crew kill is gonna be enough. Imagine if flagship had backup DNA bank. Don't don't give Slow Rider more ideas, please. DNA bank and upgraded crew are already bad enough. Some slow hacking, yeah. Hacking is nerfed all to hell in this mod. Still use it, but it's just so much weaker. Right, um, I jump away and come back, and I should get the E thing. This freaking Gatling gun thing. Okay. Nice Gatling down. Potential idea for new difficulty level. I don't. We don't need more difficulty levels. We're already playing the challenge mode. What did happen to my Her Hermes? Did it run into a basic laser? Must have. Whole maintenance kit. Can I use it right now?
and then swap it back. Haha, -ha, get wrecked. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the free 10 hole repair. Bam. 200 IQ plays right there, although that's pretty easy to figure out. All right, this should give me storage key, beta, whatever. Yes. All right, what do we got? Adamantium armor, eh? Uh, attacks with 100% breach chance will ignore augments protection. 35% chance to resist hole damage. Okay, so it's a better rock hole plating. I like it. I will take it. Not that I have a choice. Um, there's, I guess, hacking value point there. Beep, 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 beep. Boom, boom. Okay. I need to make it so I can see this thing. Wrong place. You let through an ion intruder drone, you stupid piece of crap. He's gonna go for my drone control. Right, I need to hit his drone control. That's the, that's the, it's just what we have to do. I need that thing offline. And we slow down the shield repair. Frickin' good dodges though, man. No drones for you, sir. Uh, I should have done this already. Kill this. In case we get some crew killer too. <laughs> Keep that online, please. All right, that's a crew kill. Um, okay. As long as the animation finishes, we'll go with that. Okay. All right, well, that free 10 hole repair we just got was really nice. And the adamantium, I don't know if that adamantium armor did anything there. Maybe it resisted a damage or two, I don't know. Oh, we did get three resist? Okay, that's good. Quad resist? Okay, all right, then it was good. I didn't see because I was totally focused on their ship. I never did get the uh, O2 value point. I went through a slug sector, didn't I? Uh, maybe I, that was last run. I got. I went through a slug sector. 28 scrap gets me. Oh, I, of course I didn't get an O2 value point. That's the whole point of the ship. Doesn't have enough life support. Okay. Swag sensors. <laughs> Even when I have more power than... Or, Less scrap and only one thing to get. It's still swag sensors that is the only thing I can afford. All right, here we go. Final phase. It's a solar flare. Of course it is. All right. Um, I need to do this. Okay. All right, Sentinel, I need you to do some crazy good work, sir. Okay, that's... Uh, God damn it, that's bad. Stop hitting my drone control. This is basically my other crew. Damn it, man. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going for engine hack. And then now that they're through, I'm going to do this. Turn this on. Oh, damn it. Uh, let me slow down time here. Slow down the time they can do that. Slows down the time they get vented, but I just need to buy time, I feel like. my drone. I swear I sent it there what, that way. Oh my god. Ugh. 
Oh, that's a double fire in my what piloting. That's bad. Okay, their drone control's down. At least they won't be repairing faster, but... Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Do I need to run? I have a missile incoming. My sentinel's still down. I will take one, two, three crew with me. I think I go back. I'll have less borders to deal with next time if I do if I leave now. Okay. I think that's the safe, smart play there. It's spiraling. We had a solar flare that was helping. Helping. Again, I don't know why Slow Rider thought we needed to make the boss fight even harder, but you know, his prerogative, his mod. We are just hamsters in his wheel world. Wheel world? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Please, can I not have a solar flare for the boss fight? Please. All right, that's fine. Oh, that's... I forgot. Okay. Okay, he's dodged literally everything we shot at him so far, you know, because that's fair and balanced. Go tank that guy, so I don't have to move you. God, stop killing my freaking hacking, for the love of God. I guess I'm glad it's not drone control, I guess. Oh, God damn it, they keep taking out my drone control. Okay, we're through, freaking finally. Here. Mantra can fight. Yeah, he's been doing all the fighting this entire run, honestly. Okay. Good resist there. Okay, now their drones are dead. No more repairing for him. Um... Uh... Slow down time in the shield repair. I'm assuming they're repairing there. Okay. Okay, can we finish this, please? Hit the empty room. Backup battery gonna be up in time for this? No. Uh, there it is. Give me the doges. Just enough doges. Finish him with the Hermes. GG cookie time. Slug challenger. Wow, we finally got a win in uh, SMPK insurrection on these challenger ships. My god, are these tough. Slug challenger win get. Tell me also isn't dealing with flagship. Tell me how much of this he started with. <laughs> that build? Uh, I don't think any of the weapons we started with were what this ship started with. This, whip, this ship started with a heavy laser... A one power, two shot, inaccurate laser, and a anti bio bomb or something. 5605. Oh man, these uh, insurrection runs have been really tough. So many beacons and so little scrap. Why? Why does insurrection feel like I get so little scrap, everyone, lately? Like, I feel like I never break 2K. Am I not finding long range scanner or something? I don't know. We had probably six resist that last phase. All right, we'll take a stream tomorrow. I have no messages about gigs, but I might have emails, so I don't know. My guess, Ramses, is there will be a stream, but it might be a short stream. I I I don't know until I check my email. You know what? Let me let me check my email real quick. Because if I don't have any emails about gigs tomorrow, then they're probably not happening. So I can give you a my best bet if I check my email real quick and see if I've got a message from. Uh, the guy who's doing the gigs. Um, 
I see nothing from the guy booking the gig, so I'm going to guess that, yes, there will be a stream. My plan will be, if it's a normal stream, I will play FTL Harbor No Pause for the first two hours, and then we'll jump into Grounded. That'll be the plan for tomorrow. So, my friends, thank you all for watching. I hope you had a good time. I got to get running because we went almost an hour late, and I want to go see if I can finally get the workout place I signed up for that I've been meaning to do so. Thank you for all the support. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you for those 200 bits, Mr. Bread Baps. I think I missed them. Um, but for all of you who hang out, you all are amazing. I can never thank you all enough for all the support, all the bits, all the follows, all the subs, all the get the subs, all the lurking. You all make this possible. So until tomorrow or Wednesday, depending on if a stream, I will see you all next time. So peace out. Happy gaming. Enjoy the sea shanty. I'll see you all next time. Later, my friends.